Hi, so this would be, um, or will be, probably the only YouTube video I'll ever make. Um, I don't make these type of videos ever or whatever, so I wanted to share with you all something that helped me and really changed my life immeasurably. Um, this is um, something that was affecting me for a long time, and I wanna say that um, I'm not trying to sell anything. I don't care at all if you buy anything. It means nothing to me. I don't get money out of it. It means absolutely nothing to me. I don't care. So I just want to like say that first and foremost before I even start talking about it. But I want to talk about my eczema and how I basically cured it. I mean, I don't have it anymore. And um, when I was 17 um, or 18 years old, I started noticing that I had these like little like bumps on my hand. And honestly, I thought it was like an allergy to something I was eating or whatever the case is. Um, they were like little like pus filled um, like bumps that I'm sure, you know, anyone with eczema has experienced. And they were mainly on the palms of my hands, the outside and inside of my fingers, like in here, and my wrists and my elbows and my ankles and just whatever. So initially I thought it was like some sort of allergy, whatever. It kind of never really went away. So I ended up going to the dermatologist and the dermatologist told me that I have dishydrotic eczema. And I was like, well, what do I do? Like, how do I get rid of it? She's like, well, there's, there's no way to get rid of it at all. You just have to use like certain lotions and creams and different things. And she gave me certain things and nothing really ever worked. Um, she gave me steroid creams, which had this, you know, really strong smell and they were very like thick and like, I just didn't want to have them on my hands all day, but like I did it at nighttime because the eczema was just getting worse and worse and worse over the years. And this is a long time ago. You know, this is when I was 18, 17 years old. So fast forward, um, I ended up getting it worse and worse and worse. And as the seasons changed and as, you know, warm weather, cold weather, it really didn't matter. Um, the eczema was like, it would come, it would go, but mostly it would just stay. Like it would never go, but sometimes it would get a little bit more tolerable. Um, I don't know if it was depending on what I was eating or what I was drinking or what I was, you know, I have no idea. But ultimately, there were all these things that were suggested to me, you know, every lotion, every cream, wear cotton gloves, do this, do that. There was never anything that really truly worked for me. I probably spent, and this is not an exaggeration, at least four to $5,000 on different creams and lotions and all this stuff. And every single one, like, I was like, oh man, this one doesn't work. You know, this one doesn't work, this one doesn't work. I took immunosuppressants, which made me feel really sick, but that actually got rid of the eczema, but at what cost? Like you feel terrible and you have no like, like your immune system is basically being like shut down for a small period of time to combat this. So like it's either like drink this poison or this poison. So I wasn't um, thrilled about that. Um, there was basically nothing that ever, ever, ever worked for me, truly. Um, and my father, um, in 2017, so this is now six plus years ago, um, asked me, um, or, or I was telling him what was going on with my eczema and how terrible it was. His sister is married to a scientist and the scientist, um, he is very big into like homeopathic medicine and natural cures for things and all this like alternative health stuff. So I was like, okay, like, you know, my dad was speaking to him and he was talking to my dad about um, molecular hydrogen and how he has this machine that he bought and how it's changed his life. It's, you know, anti-aging, it's antiviral, it's anti-inflammatory. It, does remarkable changes to your body chemistry in a good way and whatever, all this stuff. So I was like, yeah, dad, I was like, don't waste your time, whatever, it doesn't matter. It's like, nothing's ever gonna cure this, it's just torture. And when I say it was torture, I mean, it was torture that I wouldn't wish on my worst enemy. Like I would scratch myself until I would literally bleed. And I mean bleed, like for real. Um, I would 
just scratch and scratch and scratch. And it, it, it was the, the urge to scratch, which I, I'm sure that some of you can relate to, was irresistible. Like no matter how much you tried to fight that urge to scratch, it didn't matter. There was nothing you could do. It was like being an addict. Like it, it was just so bad. And um, it really took over my life. It was at the point where like, I didn't even want to give my credit card or like money to like a cashier because I was worried or just embarrassed of them seeing like my red inflamed hands and like scabs and like you know, disgusting stuff. But at the end of the day, like it was mainly like these pus filled bubbles that were so itchy and so terrible. And they, again, they were on my wrists, my hands, my palms, um, my feet, my ankles, like everywhere. The soles of my hands were the worst. Um, so, or the palms of my hands were the worst. So basically my dad had told me about this molecular hydrogen machine that this, that his, um, brother-in-law, I guess you could say bought and they live in Mexico. And he said, I'm going to buy this for you. Like, I know what torture you're going through. I'm going to get this thing for you. And I was like, don't bother. It's not going to do anything, whatever. He ended up getting it for me. Um, a funny part of the story is that I was in CVS and I was looking for another cream, another lotion that wouldn't have done anything. But I, I literally am going through, like I'm like bending down in front of like all the creams and I'm trying to look at the ones on the bottom row and everything. And I'm looking and like, I'm like, man, I was like, I have all of these, you know, like I have every single one. I bought every one and there's this guy behind me and I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry, man. I'm in, I'm in your way. And he's like, no, he's like, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'm like, yeah, I have this eczema and I'm just looking for a cream here, but I, 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 I have all these and none of them work. And he's like, just drink more water. And I hear him say this behind me and I turn around to say, thanks. And I'm like, thanks. And I turn around and the guy's gone. He was just gone. And I, I didn't see him walk away or anything. It, it just felt like it was like a sign. Like he was like sent from heaven. So long story short, I get this molecular hydrogen machine, which you can see over here, which right now it's bubbling and it's not the most beautiful thing as you can see. This is actually like a prototype model of it, but I don't know if you see, it says here, hydrogen, molecular hydrogen, health, beauty, anti-aging, pain relief, whatever. So right now it is pumping out a ridiculous amount of hydrogen into this glass. So basically all I do, all you do is you fill it with regular water, regular spring water, and you put this thing in and it starts to bubble up and it's pushing out enormous amount of hydrogen. Now I'm not a scientist, but as I'm sure many of you know, hydrogen is the smallest atom on the uh, uh, molecule on the, um, uh, on the periodic table. And it's so small that like, it's not the type of thing that, you could truly bottle. You can't put this in a glass and put it on a shelf at you know, your grocery store or at a health food store or whatever because it will just seep out of the bottle because it's so tiny, the hydrogen molecule, that you can't contain it. Like Maybe it could hold it in there for a day or two or four or 10. I, I don't know the answer, I don't even know. But this makes it fresh, basically. And basically, I got this machine and I was completely skeptical of it. But when I got it, I was like, all right, I set it up, it started bubbling. I said, okay, I'm gonna drink, I'm gonna try it. I drank one glass at, in the morning, one glass at night. And I did this just starting out, whatever. So I drank the water, and the water, by the way, this has been bubbling like 20, 25 minutes. I usually bubble it for like a half hour, but I'm gonna drink it. It tastes imperceptible from regular water. There's nothing different about it. It's just regular water. When you taste it, you're not like, oh, wow, that tastes different. It, it actually alkal alkaline, makes your water alkaline um, as well. It pushes the pH up a little bit. Um, so even like regular neutral water will become like an 8.5 or an 8.7 or a 9, whatever on the pH scale. But that's not even the biggest part about it. It pushes out something called Brown's gas, which is not necessarily exactly like molecular hydrogen, it's HHO, which is hydrogen, hydrogen, oxygen. So it, it is pushing out basically 67, from what I understand, 67% hydrogen, 33% oxygen. Now you say, oh, that's water. No, it's not because it's HHO, not H2O, whatever. So I started drinking this water, long story short. I drank one glass in the morning, one glass at night. And when I swear to you, after the first glass, the first glass, I noticed 
that the pus bubbles and the eczema was going away. It, 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 it just wasn't as itchy and it just wasn't like as bad. I was like, wow, like, this is incredible. Like I can't, I can't believe this. So I drank another glass at night and then I drank another, you know, two or three glasses the next day. And by the second or third day, when I tell you my eczema was completely gone, completely, I'm not exaggerating. Now, I have not even experimented what happens to me if I stop drinking this water. So I've drank it pretty much every day for the last six years. I've had this machine now since 2017. It's now 2023. So I've had this machine for six years. Um, I've never really gone a long time without drinking the water. But what I can tell you is that there's a lot of studies online and, and you, you could, I'll, I'll actually put a link in the description to some of these things that I found just because I was so curious about it after it actually worked. Um, the, the studies that were done in overseas in Germany, I know molecular hydrogen is very big in Japan. I know they have things like oxygen bars almost where you remember you used to go into an oxygen bar and breathe in oxygen. Well, they have them with hydrogen and um, people say it does wonders for your health in general. Forget about what it did for me with eczema. But there are specific studies done on molecular hydrogen and its effect on eczema specifically um, and, and in skin conditions. And all I can say is I had dyshydrotic eczema. I didn't have the scaly eczema. I had the bumps one. But what I can say is it worked for me. And not only did it work, I don't have it anymore. It cured it for me. And I get it, you know, buying something, you know, you'd rather do things at the doctor and do things through insurance and whatever. I, I don't know what to say other than the fact that this worked for me. I do not have eczema anymore. Um, I know how torturous this can be. I wouldn't have wished it on my worst enemy. I had it literally, you know, 18, 19 years. I had eczema. Um, it is a nightmare. Um, I know kids have it. I, and I see people on forums online and places that are saying my eczema is so torturous. I, I, can't take life anymore. I can't do it anymore. And I, I suggest it and people think I'm like, just like trying to sell them something. I swear to you, I don't care at all if you buy it. I will put a link to this company in the description. And there are other companies that make this type of machine as well. Um, so it's not just this company and this machine that I'm recommending, but I can tell you that this one worked for me and it's great. And, um, it's operated seamlessly for six years, every single day. Um, the other cool thing about it is that in addition to drinking it, which you're, you can see now that it's bubbling, I'm just going to turn it off for a second and show you, you could hook up a breathing attachment, which I have right here, which, oh my God, I'm stepping on it. But um, you could hook this in and this little thing you put around your head and you just breathe it in like this. So you could breathe in the hydrogen too, and that has a really good effect on the body also. I've also noticed that like even with things like colds and things like that, like I don't really get colds very long or ever since I've been drinking this water, to be honest with you, knock on wood. But um, that's my story. And I hope this helps even one person out there. Um, again, like not trying to sell anything, just telling you that molecular hydrogen worked for me. The one other thing I want to say though, is there are molecular hydrogen supplements out there where it's almost like an Alka-Seltzer that you could drop in a water and it, you know, makes hydrogen bubbles and whatever. And from what I understand about that is that it has a lot of potassium and things in it. And it's not nearly as strong as what this thing pumps out, which is very powerful hydrogen water um, that you could drink. And um, I drank 10 glasses of this in a day. I drank, you know, two glasses of it in a day. I drank one glass of it in a day. But basically... Um, this machine has really been a miracle for me. Um, you can see how strong it's just coming out. It's, it's amazing. And you do have to drink it pretty quickly. That's the other thing I want to say. Like, if you wait, it's not as powerful. Um, actually, it's so powerful. Let me show you. While, watch the glass bubble. You, you think it's regular water, but this is actually how powerful it is. Watch what I bring just up. I would never recommend doing this at home, but unbelievable. That's how powerful it is. That's how hypercharged that water is, that it makes that pop 
um, if you even put a flame anywhere near it. So I wouldn't recommend putting a flame near it, but I'm just trying to demonstrate to you. So I'm not a doctor. I'm not trying to give you medical advice. I don't care to give you medical advice. I'm just telling you what worked for me, and I hope that this helps someone out there. Um, it's natural. You just drink water, and it made my eczema go away. So good luck, and if you have any questions, if I can respond, I will. Thanks.